Finnegan's Wake Book 1 Chapter 2 Part 2 Section 38 our cat's bit of strife, knee, bare knees, Max Welton, with a quick ear for spittoons, as the aftertale hath it, glained up as usual with dumb estic husbandry. No persix and armelians for thee, Pomeranza, but slipping the clay in her claw, broke of the matter among a hundred and eleven others in her usual curtsy. How faint these first vespers womenly are, a secret pispigliando. Amad the lavardy den of their manfolker. The next night, nudge one as was, he sips over a hop a chi, her eyes dry and small and speech thicklish. Because he appeared a funny colour, like he couldn't stood the old hens no longer, to her particular reverend, the director, whom she had been meaning in her mind primarily to speak with, hush, in tragist, a timbuspoon, trusting between coupled lips and and lowry promises. My, she never have, enzikeri pudden kam humanov for her peck lapitsanchins. The gossiper, so delivered in his epistolier, buried tea toastily in their Irish stew, would go no further than his Jesuit's cloth, yet in Viner's Venitas, Volatiles Velletotum, it was this overspoiled priest, Mr. Brown, disguised as a Vincentinian, who, when seized of the facts, was overheard in his secondary personality as a Nolan, an under-reared pole soul by accident, if that is the incident it was an accident for Hierua of Ecclesiastes of Hippo Outpuffs, the righteous of Havaban Anna, to Pianassim, a slightly varied version of Crooked Ribs Confidentials, what Mir Alois said but for Josephine's sake. Hands between her hands, in fealty sworn, my braver based my flower, and to the strains of the secret of her birth, hushly pierced the ruby and orellum of Philly Thurston, a lay teacher of rural science and orthophonetics of a near stout figure, and about the middle of his forties, during a priestly flutter for safe and sane bets, at the hippic run fields of breezy Baldoyle on a date, W. W. goes through the card, easily capable of remembrance, by all pickers up of events, national and Dublin details, the doubles of Perkin and Pollock, Peer and Pro, when the classic Encourage Hackney plate was captured by two noses in a stablecloth finish, Eck and neck, some and none, Evelo Nivlo, from the cream colt, bold boy Cromwell, after a clever gateway, by Captain Chaplain Blount's Rohini, Saint Dalau, drummer coxon, non depict third at breakneck odds. Thanks to you, little bonny, little porty, little winnie widger. You're all your nappies who in his never reap mud and purple your cap was surely leagues unlike any other phantom weight that ever top it or timber maggies. Twas two piece of nonce, Tim Coves, the water is pissed, the rains are overt, and come the voax of the turfer is hurled on our land, of the name of Treacle Tom, as was just out of pop, following the theft of a leg of Kehoe, Donnelly and Pakenham's Finnish pork, and his own blood and milk brother, Frisky Shorty. He was to be exquisitely punctilious about them both, short and frisky. A tipster come off the hulks, both of them awful poor, what was out on the bum around for the oof bird game for a jimmy o' goblin or a small thick un, as chanced, while the seaforths was making the colleen ball to ear the passon in the motor clobber, make use of his law language, edso, edso, on. Touching the case of Mr. Adams, what was in all the Sundays about it which he was rubbing noses with and having a gurgle of his own along of the butty bloke in the specs? 
this trickle Tom, to whom reference has been made, had been absent from his usual wild and woolly hounds in the ha- in the land of counties Capalines for some time previous to that. He was, in fact, in the habit of frequenting common lodging houses where he slept in nude state, hail fellow with myth, in strange men's cups. But on race night, blotto, after divers tots of all hellfire, red biddy, bulldog, blue ruin, and creeping jenny, Englandine's choicest herbage, supplied by the duck and doggies, the galloping primrose, Bridget Brewster's, the cock, the postboy's horn, the little old man's, and all swell that aims well, the cup and the stirrup, he sought his well warmed, Liba bobbed in. A housing room abide with one another at block w w why didn't he back it? Palm court the liberties, and what with the multipuke on voltapuke re snored alcohol alcohol alcoherently to the burden of I come, my horse delayed num num the substance of the tale of the evangelical bussy bozzy and rus in nurbin the girls he would keep calling them for the colorette and skirt the sun bonnet and carnation in parts it seemed he was before the eots of martas or other whales the third of fossil years he having be ham with katya when lavinias had her mane's lease to see in a sump ship doodly show whereat he was looking for fight niggers with wild roses oft in the chilly night the medicanistic the epicthalamorous during uneasy slumber in their hearings of a small and stony broke cash draper's executive peter cloran discharged Omara, an ex-private secretary of fixed abode, locally known as Mildew Lisa, who has passed several nights, funnish enough, in a doorway under the blankets of homelessness on the bunk of Iceland, pillowed upon the stone of destiny colder than man's knee or woman's breast, and hosty, no slouch of a name, an ill-starred beach busker, who sounds rooty and sounds scrapey, suspicioning as how he was sitting on a twood stool on the verge of self-abyss, most starved with melancholia over everything in general. Night Beerman, you served him with Natagal's nano, had been tow-head tossing on his shakedown, devising ways and manners of means of what he loved to e Fidelicence. Somehow or other, in the nation, getting hold of some chap's parabellum, in the hope of taking a wing sociable and lighting upon a side wheel, dive somewhere off the dull key down Larry and bleak rookie Trameline, where he could throw, true and go, and blow the sipicidal napper off himself for two bits to bowl thee well, baltitude in the peace and quiety bus of a one sure shot bottle. He, after having been trying all he knew with the lady's help of Madame Grissel for upwards of eighteen calendars, to get out of Sir Patrick Doon's, through Sir Humphrey Jervis's, and into St. Kevin's bed in the Adelaide's hospitals, from these incurable whales lays among those uncarable whales a days, through St. Iago, by his cockle hat, good Lazar deliver us, without having been able to jerry wrangle it any sides, Lisa Odivius and Roche Mungan, who had so much in common, epipsychedelically, if the phrase be permitted, hostis et odor in super petro per fractus, as an understood thing, slept their sleep of the swimborn, in the one sweet undulant mother of tumbler bunks, with hosty just how the shavers and the shaw, the yokels and the yotes, or well, the wisters in the wild, and the bustling tweeny dawn of all works mead of anthems here we pant, had not been many jiffies furbishing pot lids, door brasses, scholars' apple cheeks, and link boys' medals when, Ash hopper minded like no fella, he go make back and beg fuss longer white man, the rejuvenated busker. For after a good night's raven rumble and a shinkham's top morning with his coexes, he was not the same man, and his broad awake bed's room sweet 
Our boys, as our Byron called them, were up and a shuffle from the Hogsham. They love aimed. The barrel. Crossed Eblin's chilled hamlet, dry roots and restings on their then superficies, curiously correspondent with those linea and puncta, where our tubany habany metro manoplumes under the overflake under rails and stations at this time of riding to the thrummings of a cruth fiddle and cremoning and crononing, leavy grivy witty and weavy, appy leppy playable, caress the ears of the subjects of King Saint Finerty the festive, who in brick homes of their own and their flavoury phraseberry beds, heeding hardly cry of honey man sowed lavender and foin boin salmon alive with their priggish mouths all open for the larger appreciation of this long awaited messiah of roratorios were only half past at sweep after a brisk pause at a pawnbroking establishment for the prophetic purpose of redeeming the songster's truly admirable false teeth and a prolonged visit to a house of call at Cudus Place, Fies, the old Sats Hall in the parish of St. Sicily within the liberty of Sir Le Moore, not a thousand or more national leagues that was by Griffith's valuation, from the site of the statue of Primerwer Glassstones, setting a match to the march of the maker, last of the steward's puritur, where the tale rambles along, the trio of Wackfold the diddlers was joined by a further intentions applied to morrow, casual and a decent sort of had been variety, who had just been touching the weekly insult, Fewit and all fig blabbers, who saith of noun, had stimulants in the shape of geese and geese stood by the damn decent sort, after which stag luncheon and a few more. Once more, just to celebrate yesterday, flushed with their fire stuff fostered friendship, the rascals came out of the licensed premises. Browns first, the small p x x executive cap a hand in their sad rear, like a lady's postscript. I want money, please send. Wiping their laugh leaking lipes on their sleeves, how the buccaleens shout the Ruskin generally, Sion, Fion, Sion, Fion, Aron. And the rhymer's world was with reason the richer for a would be ballad to the bowl edder of which the world of humanity. Singing owes a tribute for having placed on the planet's Milo map his lay of the violist bog eiger, but most attractionable avatar the world has ever had to explain for. This more correctly Lubin, or fellow, me, Lider, was first poured forth, where Rio Livio riots and cool de Hudo humps, under the shadow of the monument of the should have been legislator Elotherio Dendron. Spare, Woodman, spare. To an overflow meeting of all the nations in Leinster, fully filling the visional area, and, as a single-minded supercrowd, easily representative, what with masks, wet with faces, of all sections and cross-sections, wine shop and cocoa house poured out to brim up the broaching of our liffy-side people, to omit to mention of the mainland, minority and such as had wayfared via Watling, Irwin, Ignild, and Stain, in chief a halted cockney car with its quota of hard mooth's hacks, a northern Tory, a southern Whig, an East Anglian chronicler, and a landwester guardian, ranging from slips of young Dubliners from cut purse row, having nothing better to do than walk about with their hands in their knee pants, sucking air whackers, we do licit, jumbo bricks side by side with truant officers, three woollen balls and poplin in search of a crowst of pawn to busy professional gentlemen, a brace of palesmen with dun drearies nooning toward dailies fresh from snipe heating and mallard missing on Rutland Heath, exchanging cold sneers, mass-going ladies from Hume Street in their chairs, the bearers baited some wandering hamelags out of the adjacent clover fields of mosses gardens, an oblate figure from Skinner's Alley, bricklayers of Fleming and Tavernet Fumant, with spouse and dog, an aged hammersmith who had some chiselers by the hand, 
A bout of cudgel players, not a few sheep with the braxy two blue coat scholars, four broke jains out of Simpsons on the rocks, a portly and a pert still tossing turkey coffee and orange shrub in Tick Eye's door, Peter Pym and Paul Fry, and then Elliot and O. At- Atkinson, suffering hell's delights from the blains of their annuitants' acorns, not forgetting a deuce of Diana's ready for the hunt. A particularist prebendary pondering on the Roman Easter, the Tanger question, and Greek uniates. Plunkum, a lace lappet head, or two or three or four from a window, and so on down to a few good old souls who, as they were juiced after taking their pledge over at the uncle's place, were evidently under the spell of liquor. From the wake of Tari, the tailor, a fair girl, a jolly postboy thinking of three flagons and one, plumble droll, a half sir from the weaver's almshouse, who clings and clings and chat 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 clings to her, a whole dam's cloud hued petticoat as a child, as curator as Couch O'Leary. The war arrow went around, so it did. A nation wants a gaze. And the ballad. In the filibrine trang coped meter affectioned by Tayosibo in his Causitas du Puling Chinello Artahut, stomp stampeded on to a slip of blanco vide and headed by an excessively rough and red woodcock privately printed at the rhyme press of Delville, soon fluttered its secret on white highway and brown byway to the rose of the winds and the blue of the gales, from archway to lattice and from black hand to pink ear, village crying to village through the five pussy fours green of the United States of Scotia Pitta. And he who denies it, may his hairs be rubbed in dirt. To the added strain so peaceful of his majesty, the flute, that one crooned king of inscruments, pickets pure as cielo, also liuto, which, Mr. Delaney, Mr. De Lacy, horns anticipating a perfect downpour of plaudits among the rhapsods piped out of his decent sort hat, looking still more like his merciful namesake as men of gold noted, but... Before of two spot about the snowy crested curla moist the leader's wild and molting hair, Doctor Hitchcock hoisted his fezzy fuzz at legend's height signum to his companions of the chalice for the loud fellows boys in silentium in curia. Our maple once more where he rose of old, and the canto was chanted there, chorused and christened where by the old toll gate Saint Anono Street. And church, and around the lawn, the ran it ran, and this is the ran that host he made, spoken boils and Cahill scarrets, Pritchards, verisified and piercified, may the treeth we tale of live in stony. Here line the refrains of some vote him Vike, some mote him Mike, some dub him Lim and Finn, others hail him Lug, Dug, Bug, Dunlop, Lex, Lax, Goon, or Gwyn. Some aptim art, some baptim barth. Go, no, so, will, wheel, wall, but I parse him, Pers O'Reilly, else he's called no name at all. Together, hurrah, leave it to Hosty, Frosty, Hosty, leave it to Hosty, for he's the man to rhyme the ran, the ran, the ran, the king of all rans. Have you here? Some ha, have we wear, some hot. Have you heard? Others do. Have we weared? Others don't. It's coming, it's brumming, the clip, the clap, a la, glass, crash, the click, kakaka, laka, 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 sk, kakaka, lopask, lax, shot, batak, crepi, crotti, grandan, sen, me, sami, hoot, tal, blood, bloody, apple, dick, be, con, duk. Ardite, arditi. Music cue. Have you heard of one Humpty Dumpty how he fell with a roll and a rumble and curled up like Lord Olaf a crumble by the butt of the magazine wall, chorus of the magazine wall, humped, helmet and all? He was one time our king of the castle. Now he's kicked about like a rotten old parsnip, and from Green Street he'll be sent by order of his worship to the penal jail of Mount Joy, 
chorus. To the jail of Mount Joy, jail him in joy. He was fa father of all schemes for to bother us. Slow coaches and immaculate contraceptives for the populace. Mare's milk for the sick, seven dry Sundays a week. Open our love and religion's reform. Chorus. And religious reform, hideous in form. Ara, why, says you, couldn't he manage it? I'll go bail, my fine dairyman, darling. Like the bumping bull of the Cassidy's, all your butter is in your horns. Chorus, his butter is in his horns, butter his horns. Repeat, hurrah there, hosty, frosty, hosty, change that shirt on ye, rhyme the ran, the king of all rans. Balbaccio, balbaccio, we had chaw, chaw, chops, chairs, chewing gum, the chicken pox, and ch- China chambers, universally provided by the soft soaping salesman. Small wonder he'll cheat Erwin, our local lads nicknamed him. When Chimdim first took the floor, chorus, with his bucket shop's door, down bargain wed lower. So snug was he in his hotel premises sumptuous, but soon we'll bonfire all his trash, tricks and trumpery. And his short till Sheriff Clancy'll be winding up his unlimited company with the bailiff's bomb at the door. Chorus, bim ban at the door, then he'll bum no more. Sweet bad luck on the waves washed to our island, the hooker of the hammerfast viking, and goes curse on the day when he blana bay saw his black and tan man of war. Chorus, saw his man of war on the harbour bar. Where from? roars Pulbig. Cooking her pants, he bows down his moe scampily to wick a wiping thangy. Fingle muck, Oscar, one sign, bargy as bony face, thox mean gamel ho, nor vi gicker's moniker, og as I are at gamel ho, nor vi gicker's cod. Chorus, a Norwegian camel old cod, here he is, be God. Lift it, hosty, lift it, ye devil, ye. Up with the ram, the rhyming rand. It was doing some fresh water garden pumping, or, according to the nursing mirror, while admiring the monkeys that are heavyweight heathen hum fairy, made bold a maid to woo. Chorus, woo, hoo, what'll she do? The general lost her maiden loo. He ought to blush for himself, the old hay-headed philosopher, for to go and shove himself that way on top of her. Be gob! He's the crux of the catalogue of our antediluvial zoo. Chorus, messieurs, billing and coo, nose locks good as new. He was jolting by Wellington's monument, a rotorious hippopotamus, when some bugger let down the backdrop of the omnibus, and he caught his death of fusiliers. Chorus, with his rent in his rears, give him six years. Tis so pity for his innocent poor children, but look out for his missus legitimate. When that frews get a grip of all earwicker, won't there bear earwigs on the green? Chorus, big earwigs on the green, the largest ever you seen. Sophocles, shakes power, sududanto, anonymosis. Then we'll have a free trade gales band and mass meeting for to salt the brave son of Scandinavery, and we'll bury him down in Oxmanstown along with the devil and Danes. Chorus, with the deaf and dumb Danes, and all their remains. And not all the king's men nor his horses will resurrect his corpus, for there's no true spell in Connacht or Hell. Bees that able to raise a cane.